Okay, we're looking at the Ramage Everest 3. This really could work for any of the Everest printers. I'm going to show you quickly how to adjust the uh, clamping pins. These are the two pins at the front of the printer. And basically when the tray is moved in, they the pins move in to grab the disc. And uh, basically this is something, these pins are, are just pressed in and held in with pressure. Uh, so you can lift them by simply pulling up on them with some needle nose pliers. You can push them down with a fingernail or um, you know, a flat, flat tool back of a screwdriver or something like that. So they're pretty easy to adjust. But if they're too low, I will put a disc on here. If the pin, when the pin is pushed in, it should, it should grab and um, be just below flush with the disc. So what I do is I basically use my fingernail and just feel all the way off the edge of the disc. I basically just make sure that it's not that it's not above the disc. But you can see there it's it's above the halfway point. If it's hitting in the middle of your disc, if you get any kind of a warp disc, it's not going to, you know, there's there's a good chance that it's not going to clamp. So basically the way to the way to adjust is uh, pull the tray, all, have the tray all the way out. I have this printer powered off. Um, if you have the, if you have it powered on, you basically just push the button, to open it up. Not, not too tough. Uh, so basically, I just reach in with my needle nose plier, give it a decent amount of pressure, and pull up. Now you can see. The pin is, is quite a bit higher now. I'll put a disc on here to show you. So when I push the tray in, the pin is sitting way above the disc. You can see it, you can feel it. Um, and so what I usually do is just take my fingernail, like I said, if it's kind of tough, um, you can use something like if you have a rounded back of a screwdriver. I just push straight down on that. Let's see. It's a little easier to do when it's open. So it's a little bit of trial and error, unfortunately. Uh, but it's not too difficult to do. So I, I push it down a little bit. It's still a little high. Just press it with my fingernail. And it's just barely above the disc. Make sure the disc is pushed down nice and flat. Now push it again. And now it's I can feel that it's it's just below flush. So we're not I don't have a micrometer or anything. Um, it's basically I just want to make sure it's hitting above hitting as high on the disc as you can, but still not flush and not definitely not above the disc. Uh, so that's gonna give me my best chance of clamping and not and not getting any clamping errors. Uh, if you have the pins in a good position, you're still getting clamping errors, then you want to look at your um, the gripper and printer alignment, and we handle that in another video. But that's how you adjust the pins on an Everest printer.